God, I am obsessed with this movie because <laughs> it really is about, you know, we're, we've been told don't open those X-Files. <laughs> This is the opposite. This film, I feel like, is kind of a how-to mm. guide for how we should look at what our patterns and behaviors and life experiences have led us to. But why is it important to look at your previous relationships and behavior and history? I think one of the beautiful things about this movie is that when they're going back to look at their previous history, they're, ha they're building compassion for themselves. You know, and, and, and then in that way, they're able to love Healing. because they can forgive themselves and heal through going through their past relationships. I have spoken to um, a lot of my ex-boyfriends who I'm still really close with okay. and had those conversations of like, I'm sorry that I was such a partier while we were together. That could Aww, not have been I love been accountability. Easy. That's so yes. big of you. That's hard. A lot of people don't actually take that step. Have you ever done that with anyone? I have. I feel like I've held myself accountable and forgiven where needed. Um, I'm not friends with all of my exes. And by um, the way, there are some I've you like need to run clo from. I've closed those chapters. Are you, are you friends you... with your... I just went to my ex's wedding. And oh. What? Yeah, that was pretty exciting. No yeah. way. Yeah. How was that? It was amazing. It was amazing. I got immediately when I walked in, I had somebody say, uh, Nat Wolf, the ex, an evolved man. <laughs> and then they all cheers to me. That and then somebody very... came over and they were like, are you the ex? You Stop. Know? Yeah. That's but big yeah. of you. I love that. That's a yeah. celebration of one one's history. Yeah, Have you beautiful. ever had to go and kind of explain something that you've changed about yourself with an ex? So the the ex that I had a really bad kind of falling out with, I I, I ran. She she hit me with her car, and I banged on the hood. Like, no, no, completely okay. accidentally. It was just ran. It was like the beginning of a rom com. Yeah, it was. Like, and were you in your car? No, I was just walking. Oh I was my just walking, gosh! You know, completely. <laughs> and you're okay. I'm totally fine. And we, no, we ended up having a great conversation, and I was like, I'm sorry for my part. She said, I'm sorry for her part, and now we're friendly, too. And the twist yeah. is, it's me. I hit him with <laughs> Well, can we play a game? Yeah. I'd love it's to one play of my favorites. Game. It's called Pop Quiz! Woo! And the winners are going to come down. This is okay. This is okay. Oh, oh. So what do we do? <laughs> okay. So you prick... Um, your balloon, and there's a question oh, inside of it. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I don't know why this. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I'll okay. That what does that say? Like, okay, it says. <clears throat> oh, tell us about your first kiss. It was with David Mitchell. Whoa. And, and, and I was um, at youth group. I was at church in Tennessee, and I and I looked at him, and I think, or I like passed him a note because there was a, a section like behind a brick wall where everyone would go and make out, and he said, yeah. And nice. it happened. Nice. And I actually, I actually Googled him the other day because I was wondering what he was up to. I'm from Tennessee, so I'm sure he's happily married with kids. But hi, David. He's in the audience yeah. right and now. He's yeah, David. 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 Okay, Nat. Okay. There you go. There we go. Oh. Oh. What's your dream meet cute moment? I mean, I already did my getting hit by a car story. But it, maybe in this one, it would be getting, it would be t the, the two cars, they come towards each other, they're driving towards each other really fast, and they step on the brakes, and then the cars stop like this, and they get out, hey, are you okay? I'm okay. And then, and then that's love. That's right so there, romantic. Right? I think you have yeah. an automobile fetish. <laughs> um, okay, you know what? We'll be right back. We're going to come back with more Balloon Pop Quiz.